I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, and do you remember when you could send away for stuff by cutting out uh, the box tops or the UPC symbols on things? Today I'm going to stamp on the side of this tote. It has a wire rim on it. It is from the Target Dollar Spot. It is $5, and you can get them there now. You can't lay it flat on a table because it does have a wire. So I've devised a way to handle that. The first time I sent away for anything was Pepsi bottles. The, the bottle cap had a seal inside of it and you could peel those off. But if you sent so many of those in to Pepsi, you could order a Flintstones poster. And I was so excited and I think I had to send like six of these cap inserts plus shipping and handling. <laughs> So I sent away for it, and that was back when it always said allow six to eight weeks for delivery. They didn't have Amazon Prime back then. I'm going to use IOD Retro Stamp to stamp the word beach on it. I'm going to use these two shoe boxes. My kids cut shoes for Christmas. I'm going to use these two shoe boxes to support the inside of the tote so that it provides a surface to stamp on. It was in a tube, a cardboard tube. I was so excited. I opened that thing. There was nothing in it. Today I'm going to use IOD China Blue. I'm going to use the back of this clipboard, ink it, take the ink pad to the stamps, and ink it flat. That helps you to keep getting ink from places where you don't want it to be transferred to your fabric or your project. The ink has a long drying time. It's not like using chalk paint or DIY paint. It dries really fast. So you have to work really quick. The only other time I can remember that I ordered something by sending box tops back, macaroni and cheese, craft macaroni and cheese. One of my favorite things you could get a craft macaroni and cheese beach towel. I mean, who had that? This might be easier to do on a tabletop or something, but I'm just sitting here on my stool. I have my sturdy work surface via my shoe boxes. Once you set it down, you don't want to shift. I always keep one hand on the stamps. And I use my finger to make sure that the ink gets good contact with the fabric. Last letter. It's a quick, easy project. So, let's see. And there you go. But I filled out the form. I don't remember when it came in the mail like I do the poster, but the beach towel did come and I still have it. It was so cool. I loved it. I wonder, I've never seen another one like it anywhere, like on eBay or anything like that. Yeah. I valued it so much that I did not use it very often, just every once in a while. $5 project at uh, Target Dollar Spot now. You need to let the ink cure, usually 24 hours. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments if you have ever sent away for something when you were a kid or maybe even more recently. I am a DIY paint retailer. Also paint pixie brush retailer and a JRB stencil retailer and I am located in the Faded Rose in downtown Monroe, North Carolina. I hope you enjoyed my upcycle project today. Real simple and easy. Maybe this year you'll get to spend some time at the beach. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the project. I'll be back soon.